Good morning, Bethel, and welcome to another Coffees and Convos. Um, this morning, the topic that I'd like to share with you guys is titled The Path He Walks With Us and the Choices He Gives. So, free will. Our experiences in life doesn't just happen, but they're ordained. They're ordered and guided by God. The greatest thing about it is that we still have free will. We have a choice on what we do, the path we choose, and our response to life. Let me share two experiences with you. This morning, um, over the course of two weekends, I had two very interesting but similar experiences. I went on a drive with a few lovely young ladies, a few of my friends. I knew exactly where we were going and they did not, right? They had vague details, so I told them the destination. I told them a stop point on the way to the destination, but that was about it. But somewhere at the beginning of the trip, something said to me to include them as a part of the journey, as opposed to just being passengers. So I started to give them choices. I started to give them choices whether we were going left, right, or straight. <laughs> they were hesitant, analytical, and started asking a lot of questions. They started showing a lack of trust for the process until they were able to ask more questions. Questions like, will this bring us to our destination? Does that mean that any route we take will lead us there. There came a point where I didn't give them a choice anymore because I got to a place where I was just like, they took too long to decide or there were questions that came before the decision. So I started making the choice for them. And there came a point where they started going, hey, weren't we supposed to get a choice? Weren't we supposed to get a choice back there, whether it was right or left or straight? And so I said, simply just said, well, I'm taking over. <laughs> now, experience number two, something similar, but this time around, I was walking. I went for a walk with a friend. Both of us, it was, for both of us, it was an unknown path. Before starting though, we looked at the map to see where we were. After doing that, we started on our journey. We came to the first fork in the road and we decided to go right. This happened for quite some time. We walked and talked for a bit, got to another fork in the road, read the map, decided on a path, and then kept going. We later came to a road and my friend asked, do you wanna keep going or start heading back? Note, this was our first hard choice because we were at the end what it seemed as the end of the path so we would have to cross over a busy road in order to get to the other side to continue on the path i said keep going because to me the way looked clear and the thought was everything has been fine to this point why turn back we got to the next fork in the road and we decided to go right again as we walked and we talked, we got what would be our second hard choice. This was to turn back or keep going. As we had gotten to a little puddle, a little swamp, like, you know, where water builds up on a path. So we decided to keep going. Both of us, we found a little path that we could skirt by and get to the other side. Then we started to ask. No, we started to joke first and said, see, where there's a will, there's a way. Nothing can stop our path. Then we started to ask ourselves, what if there are more of these areas like this ahead? And before we could go any further, there was what presented to be a little big swamp. 
So instead of it being just a little part where we could figure out how to pass by, it was a little bit bigger. We both looked to see if we could find a path, but alas, we had to make that final hard decision and decide to turn back and go back the way we came from. Often on this journey called life, we face choices, receive signs, we receive signs, we hear directly from God, or in our gut we feel that sense to change direction or that God has given us a choice of right, left, or straight. Each time he is walking with us, but it's for us to recognize his presence and voice. To recognize whether his presence is leading us no matter the path because it will lead us to our destination or he's telling us it's time to come back to him so turn around and when we don't turn around we get into situations he'll either help us out of or have to face the consequences but sometimes there are experiences that will stop us in our tracks and we will have to use wisdom and turn and go back. Not trample through further, but stop. Ask God, is this wise? Is this your path? And use wisdom and go back. Psalms 32, eight says, I will instruct you and show you the way to go. With my eye on you, I will counsel you. A simpler version, and this version I absolutely love, um, it was shared with me a few Sundays ago, and it says, the Lord says, I will make you wise. I will show you where to go. I will guide you and watch over you. You know, there are many people in the Bible, God's word that he gave to us, as a guide who had choices Adam and Eve King David King Jehoshaphat Jonah and that's just a few names and they made choices they had to come back from but the good thing is God in his mercy love and grace still walked with them so this morning what are the choices you face what is the path you need to take? What is the path you need to turn back from? I want to encourage you to seek him at every turn and use wisdom at every fork in the road. For if you listen carefully, God is and will be speaking to you. Many blessings and I hope that you guys have a wonderful Monday and a wonderful rest of the week. I want to invite you to please join us on Wednesday for prayer and teaching, or continue teaching on Jesus Said What, online or in the building. As well, creatives, there will be creative in the building tomorrow evening. We will be doing an online portion as well. You'll be able to join us online as well. It's a worship and prayer night. You can register with the link that I sent out um, on Eventbrite. If you need the link, just email me at sshaw at bethel.ca and I will be able to forward that to you. Have a great start to your week and have a wonderful, blessed and bright day.